All right, welcome to Wonder Chef Mora X. Today, my name is Jonathan, and I'm going to teach you what is Filmora. Okay, before that, let's head on to the website. Click on the link below, all right, to get your copy now. Now, after you download, you will see an icon, something like this, and you will open up. Okay, wait for it to load. All specifications will be placed in the comments below so you can check out. Okay, so, so now you will see an interface like this. And I'm going to explain to you uh, what are all the interface all about. Okay, so when you open up Filmora, you will see something like this. Okay, so now I need you to go to your file. Uh, you can you have to click your project settings and make sure this you can actually click project settings to make sure to can you can select whatever uh, resolution that you want okay and a uh, white screen or you want it to to be posted we want your video to be posted on the Instagram or you want it on portrait the right standard or you want it in cinematic uh, cinematic range. And your frame per second, uh, 25 is commonly used for uh, 1920 and 1080 on further explain as full HD or HD. Okay, and you can actually set the frame per second. And the highest frame per second is 60. 60 frame per second is uh, recommended for full HD and above 4K. Okay, 4K DHCI is uh, mainly used for cinematic uh, experience whereby you take your own uh, DLSS camera right, to uh, actually take a video and so you can set it to 4K, DHCI 4K. Because uh, when you import your video later on, I'll show you how to import. Uh, if you click DHCI 4K, your screen will shrink. And so this is uh, not good. You will have a black image, uh, black size. You know? So it's not very good when you want to post it on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or whichever social media that you want to do. Okay, so, and next you have the preset audio. So you can actually import all the audios. This is where you can find all the audios. Okay, and you can actually import whichever audio or video inside here. So in the next one I will show you, and you can select any title, transition, effects, elements, and speed screen. Transitions is something like animation. It, like in PowerPoint, they have a slide, fade in, curve. Okay. So now, we're going to start by importing your video. So let's hit over to my files, and we will be able to see. Uh, so for example, I've done this. Okay. So you can actually drag and drop your file or click here and select any of your videos where you look where you have downloaded a C drive D drive or videos or whichever or you can put it at downloads so once you import it be something like this and they say editing with smaller clips so when you have a proxy clip well proxy is to make things uh, faster actually to speed up the uh, rendering and so forth nah. so you will be able so once you've done this drag and drop and you they will ask you to match to media now match to media is where you will be able to edit right and matching to media will get the exact uh, video video frame and uh, it will actually the actual quality will be injected inside tomorrow right so usually we use match to frame so now you will be able to see something like this and so you can edit so to split and crop now you split and crop you could be able to hear something like this right. so anyway so you can actually uh, right click your mouse and you see here split see the icon split so split and you will be two sections. So now you can drag. Okay, you can do anything you want. And if you if you do not know where to find the crop to split, you can you see the scissors here, and you can actually split and click to split, or you can use Control B 
for shortcut control B and you call. Okay. Now, after using control B or whichever uh, method you want to use, now you can see that you can actually delete or you can restore. This is back and do the last action that you've done. Right? And you can actually uh, crop this uh, particular uh, video. Which I click on crop. Then you will see something like this. So you can actually uh, shrink it, or if let's say you just want maybe just one half. Okay. So you can click OK. Okay. So it should show you the crop. Now, um, let's see. And we have titles. Now, uh, titles, uh, how to input titles is actually very simple. If you want to input titles, just click on titles and drag. You can actually down, you have to download this for start. Because they are not download, so I can put it, drag and drop. Uh, yeah, you see the titles here. So let's say I want something like this, that the title will come up. So what you need to know now is you need to arrange. And you do not want this to be jutting out and all that. So what you do, again, you can actually select on this, right, split, and delete the other section. And you can actually drag and drag around. You can put it down here, you can put it here, you can drag, show one, and then you can see this line here. You can actually drag. That will reduce the duration, the time taken, uh, the command given for the time, right? To show. So once you done it, you see a, a a word here. So you can actually from here you double click, it okay? right click, double click, and you can actually drag. See this? You can actually drag around and see what title you want to put. Okay. So for here now you want to you want to type the title. So you just double click on here, and you see see the word here, Lauren Gibson. Now you can change to whatever. Uh, I think you want maybe a far cry five, for example, or maybe you want to put my, uh, my photos, example, my photos. Now after you've done that, you see that it is not clear. So what should I do? This is white. Highlight this, and I can actually choose any preset that I want, any color that I want for the presets down below, or I can check here for any text color. And so when I click on the text color, that, there you go, my text color changes. So if you find it is you cannot see, right, then you can click on here. There you go, white back again. And then you can from preset, you can set to animation. Now animation is where you can uh, make it wavy. You can have a cinema style, you can have all kinds of uh, preset that you build in. And uh, this will create the animations and give the command for the animations to actually be produced when the video is being exported afterwards. So what I do, I'll just click here, drag, oh, sorry. So I click this, just click, right click on this, and so that it will come up something like this. And you can change to whatever font you want. You can select this and you can change to whatever font you want. And you can select whatever font size that you want. You can also make it bold, italic, and you can change the paragraph, uh, whichever paragraph you want. Maybe you want sideways, you want align, you can align the paragraph. Meaning to say you can align left, you can align middle, center it, justify it, and align right. Okay, so now you can select any font you want, you, or you can also backslash, backslash, yeah, you can back. Go backwards and you can select 12, you can click in 13, you can click in 14, or whichever you want. And you can select any form that you like. So here you can select your yeah, multiple forms, you can select from just play around with it and have fun. Alright. Okay, so after finishing the titles and right, so you can also add an opener. But what do I mean by opener? It's very simple. So I'm going to show you an example of adding an opener and see what happens when you add an opener. So you can click, click here. It's uh, multiple openers that you like, whichever designs that you want. 
Okay. Basically, openness will make it uh, make your video more interesting. You can also add a video. You can also add a music music down after the opener. Yeah. So I that I will be teaching in the next video. So so once you drag the opener, you will see something like this. So it will appear something like this. Okay. So now you can you be able to type your headline. So now what I want to do is I do not want it to be so lanky like this. So I will attract here and I pull my end time. You want it short, you want it 30 seconds, you want it one minute, you want it five minutes, how you? Right? So once I drag and I can drag down here. And so I will be able to add the opener and I can, as usual, double click. And you can type in your title, for example, my title is R. And do cry. Or oh, if you do not like that, you can double click, see the box here, get it. Um, where is it? No, you can't. Okay, so anyway. You have to select one by one because it's a preset. And you can also change the color. So you can highlight. Make sure you highlight this. And you can select any color that you want. You want it yellow. You want it blue. You want it gray. Whichever you want. And you can also set the line space. Whatever alignment that you want. So you can set, set here. You can set here. You can play with this. Okay. Now you go, or oh, you don't like this previous. Okay, okay, so here you go. All right, fine. And so, and you can do all this, play with all this customization, preset, whatever. So there you go. Okay, so that's all, guys. So I'm going to see you in the next video where I'm going to explain to you how to add the since you know how to add the opener. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create the subtitles, the uh, end screen, and uh, many more to come. Right? Thank you, guys. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit and comment on what or how this video is, and be sure if you want any tips, please do. Drop your comments there and let me know what do you think about this video. Thank you and have a great day.